All right, guys, I thought I would give you a short instructional video on how to access the digital lessons in the online textbook. So it's a little bit different than using the actual textbook. It's another resource that we can use, and we will use it from here on out. And I want you to get used to using it, so that's why I'm showing you how to get to that. So in the portal, right, you should be in here. Uh, your icons are, may not be in this exact order, but uh, you should have all these. Click on Things Central. Take a little bit once it comes in there you'll see uh, these choices right here things to do my library my scores click on my library all right and then you'll see this uh, window and the last time i had you guys do this we were we were looking at the student edition right grade seven that's the version of the textbook and that's something you you know you can use whenever you need to what we're clicking on this time is student resources grade seven. So right above that is what we need. When we click on that, it's going to open up uh, the resources. And you're going to see this. And from here, we're going down to unit seven, human body systems. When you click on that, scroll down here and look for lesson five that's the nervous and endocrine system this first column is the digital lesson so that's these buttons here if we we're doing a virtual lab it would be the second buttons the digital lesson right here you click on that that's what's going to start it the and this will be how it starts adjust volume here Welcome to the lesson. Just click the on that button to lower that. Systems. It's going to give you the text with the guys narrating down here. And endocrine it's going to be pretty interactive. The uh, this is always vocabulary system. at the beginning. Uh, we don't need the first system. slide. See where it says one of 14 right here? Brain. That's where you're going to be able to see what slide you're on. And then you use the arrow Glam at the far end and to advance. So if you wanted to go to slide two, you click on that. Start slide two. If you wanted to go back, you could use the back arrow to go back to slide one. It would start it again. You can always use this uh, circle arrow to start it up again. It restarts it that way. Um, but on the form that I'm having you fill in, you're actually starting on slide three, so you would just advance it. There's two, and there's three. And this is what you're looking at here. As he's narrating, if you're hearing the answer to the question, just pause it. That way you can have that uh, information right here to help you answer. Um, you'll click on these, and it'll tell you information about that. And you could pause it in the middle, right? And help. that'll help you with the answers. Um, you're not going to have to do every slide. You'll see which slides you need to answer from and just advance as you need to. Not very difficult. Uh, getting in is probably the most difficult thing, and you see that that's not very hard either. Uh, so uh, have fun with these. Of course, if you've got questions, I'm, I'm in class. You can ask me uh, with any technical issues.